Well, I just started the video, and um, we we have we have a problem already here. Um, if, if you thought that these glitches were fixed, you are sorely mistaken. But anyway, Hero SBC, we have leaked, and uh, also a hero pick on the way that is leaked that looks like my ass, but we'll go and look at it here in a sec. Also for this video, of an 8510 and a one of three uh, icon pick to open at the end of the video, and uh, I have the 8510 from the new friendly that came out. This is why my squad, it looks like this, the less than 87 rated squad that you needed for it that is literally the best thing they've released this year <laughs> honestly it is this friendly if it was repeatable obviously the rewards wouldn't be as good but then it would literally be the best thing they've added in years honestly i know it sounds hyperbolic but i promise you it's not it's how bad this game needs better game modes if you guys want to buy coins you can go to mmoxp.com the link is in the description use my code jfc at checkout for a five percent discount this fantasy fc cup actually went 20 0 in it luckily so i don't know if there's skill based matchmaking in it right now i, I would assume not then but ultimate pack and an 8420 and you got an 853 and there's all types of packs in here that's really good rewards and honestly it's great you get to use players that you have not used really that much this year because it's uh, you know lower rated requirements and also these stupid fucking match limits no longer exist ea made a change for one time in our lives in our favor which shows you something probably ain't going right <laughs> whenever they change something in our favor that's when you know they're getting a little bit desperate here. So please never bring them back and let's act like it never happened in the first place because my God, that was one of the stupidest fucking things I've ever seen you guys add was match limits on your game modes horrible idea also guys send me your best slash favorite evos on twitter my at is right there you dm it to me tweet at me whatever your best or favorite evolutions because i'll be making a video on them soon and also i want to praise them quickly they brought back the exchanges and the exchanges actually are out for 54 days so they're not going to expire anytime soon that's probably like team of the season time around then i would assume and it's the exact same that it was during team of the year so i'm really happy they brought these back because it's just another option to throw high rated fodder into if you're not crafting an SBC, you get an 88 rated duplicate you don't want to throw them into anything at all you can get 27 gold players out of it so really happy to see that and also a couple of really good spcs as well here and alex scott and timo Werner. timo Werner is a live card of course they gave him power shot and chip shot five star weak foot here and the stats look very good and honestly if we look at uh, tottenham's fixtures which we're going to look at here in one sec it's very doable for three upgrades for sure and getting four upgrades for this card is like one of the more possible ones out of almost any of these cards so this is a borderline must complete spc in my opinion he's got technical quick step rapid first touch i think it's a an amazing play style as well by the way this is a great spc honestly and then we got alex scott as well who has uh relentless and jockey plus four star weak foot three star skill moves once again can get two upgrades most likely going to get one upgrade though uh and she looks like a good card probably you know nothing gonna be too insane is my guess a lot of decent play styles though incisive passes there whip passes there a lot of play styles but i don't think it's gonna be the most insane right back will she replace kafu i mean probably not uh it's tough to say of course but i i would doubt it and we also got the fantasy fc crafting upgrade you get a 77 times three pack and i believe it's it's a 10 commons in one rare i think per squad yes it's 10 commons in one rare per squad here and you also get some decent rewards for this as well as we scroll down here so you know what i think this content is kind of what we were asking for honestly we had you know another game mode added kind of even though you can finish it in one day and that's kind of it but i know most people are not finishing that in one day so i'm the minority in that one we need more of this honestly once a week in my opinion we need a cup literally once a week if they bring that back out once a week with different requirements that will honestly be a game changer in my opinion i think that'll be amazing and also two good evos two pretty good ones i'm not gonna lie this one gets incisive pass plus and you can actually use some cards that already have a play style plus so that's pretty cool and also let's pick it up one uh, this Patrick Giharo card, who I have not used yet. She's extinct right now in the market. Looks honestly insane for this. I'm not going to lie. Long ball plus. Her pace goes to 89 from 78. Basically just a giant pace boost is all this says here. And this card looks sick with long ball plus, first touch, incisive, finesse. Two good evos. Honestly, they're both free. So this is how you know that maybe they weren't getting the same traffic they used to because this is totally out of character. This content is way better than what we've been seeing. But keep in mind, the gameplay still is piss in this game. Let's not forget that. Can we please get something to fix with that right now? Because I did actually, side note, tangent, Julie SBC, okay. We'll talk about that in one sec. I saw people talking about how the gameplay seems worse since the patch. I played a lot of friendlies today and I played some champs as well, some champs qualities, and the gameplay definitely does feel a little different. I feel like it is a little less 
responsive. I'm not going to lie. It just feels a little weird. I don't know what it is. And maybe um, it's just all in my head for all I know. But um, it does seem a little different. And people are complaining about it left and right. So I don't think I'm the only one in that one. But Ludovic Giuli is on the way here. And, uh, you know, his car will kind of all depend on play styles, right? If he has, say, you know, the Acrobat, which he has on his regular card, plus, I don't know, Relentless Plus, he's probably not going to be great. But if he has Technical and Finesse Shot, he might be insane. So it kind of all is going to depend on that. But this is what the card will look something like. We've also got an 87 plus base triple base base heroes base heroes what's the date today february 25th base heroes 87 plus base heroes triple threat ucl women's champions league heroes player pick SBC set to come to ultimate team tomorrow so today uh yeah the fact that we're getting base hero player picks right now is insane i mean it's gonna be absolutely riddled with base heroes in here that'll that's just gonna make it suck there's almost no base heroes right now worth anything besides janola is there any honestly what like what's dina tale worth right now well, dina tale is 258 you got like yaya i think it's like 200k as well and then you got janola and outside of that i mean the base heroes are ass cheeks I also didn't even talk about the 83 times 10 did return as well and it's still good value just a team of the week card needed and it's an 83 rated squad still great value there honestly and the only thing we're really waiting on here is just the Terrier Player of the Month SBC and the Giuli SBC at this point. Just these two here we're waiting on. Now, the content for this promo is already off to a good start. My guess is this will continue because usually when a promo starts off hot, it doesn't end off terrible, except for maybe team of the year. And that was an odd circumstance where the pack way just sucked. But I think that won't be the case for this one. So I'm excited to see what they come up with for the rest of this promo, because obviously I think the way they're adding things right now, they seem to be like, hey, we're trying to like work on things because we need to right now. Clearly, they're, I think they know the player base is just not interested in so much of the content, so much of the gameplay right now that they got to fix something. I think they're starting to attempt to maybe do that of course it's ea you never fucking know random side note as well here they used tevez's manchester united dynamic then turned it blue for a manchester city live card what a random thing to do i mean of all things to pick why not pick a man city one instead they photoshop the original tevez picture make it blue and then make him a man city card okay <laughs> i mean i guess that's one way to do it because if you want the hero tracker you can go to morefoot.com right here you can easily find the tracker and it's a, they have like one of the better sites it's just very easy to like look through here and timo Werner, who you might not be able to see because my face cam might be in the way let me actually zoom out here right here uh his fixture list is palace villa which is a tough game fulham and luton though so that's three games there where you'd kind of project tottenham to be the favorite and after the best start so far is probably delict honestly he's got two goals out of the 11 for his team to get he's got an appearance he got a win already so we got three different things to kind of help him get towards these upgrades here and you can look through this if you want to and also there's kind of some debate about this so fun accountant says he literally played yesterday and score but it doesn't count for his upgrades the issue is i don't actually know if that's true because if you look at on the console here you go and search lacazette it says on his card uh that it tracks the upgrade starting from february 23rd even if it's not out yet does it still like count on the 23rd it says it does or is it the next four after the card's released i have no idea <laughs> i actually have no idea so if he scored and they won in that game it's lacazette already is due f is really really close to a plus two at least and the three appearances in the next four games because a guarantee in that case he's got three of four probably guaranteed here if that actually is the case but i don't know how we're gonna find that out or not besides some direct communication from ea which they just don't do so simple as that also if you have not seen these prices for these cards by the way um good good fucking god it is actually nuts just go have a just go have a gander yeah griezmann at 5.4 million okay chloe kelly's 1.5 for that card all right i get it's live delicts 1.2 marquinhos 3.2 mendy 5.5 for a left back yes that is correct 5.5 million coins so the market's in a bit of a weird state right now and the reason is because everyone was doing the friendly right so people had some cards in their teams that were maybe a little bit too high rated that ended up not making the cut then they need to sell them to then buy a team for the friendly so what actually ended up happening i bought a couple rico lewis's for my account i was very bullish on him and salma um, and Rico Lewis is down like 20k because he's an 88 rated who you can't use in the friendly at all. And also for people who kind of have cards that are that budget or so and lower, they have to sell to make another team. Guys who are already owning cards that are three, four, five million coins, they don't need to sell cards to then afford their cup team. 
but the people who have say 300k total kind of do need to go and sell some to go and make a cup team so that's why you're seeing cards like olise go down right now and now here we are but um oh well i mean i don't really care the friendly is super fun please do this more often and it'll be a lot of fun for investing as well if they do do this more often all right so read your comments and then we'll open the pick and the pack here xander says forward runs was a decent tactic for me it just felt inconsistent because of what jfc mentioned overall though i had the most fun in inceptions 4 1 3 2 and i wanted to talk about this because i always want to reiterate to you guys that to get to like your 99 percent ceiling you just need to do what works for you if forward runs works and you try it out and you love it then just stick with it even though almost every single pro uses balanced direct passing and like a certain set of tactics that are like pretty clearly the best ones at least they think and you know what you don't have to conform to that maybe to get to your 100 percent ceiling if you want to be a 20 0 player you maybe you have to switch to direct passing and shit but if you want to just get better at this game you just got to do what works for you and that is going to help you out so much in the long run so if 4132 works and nobody else runs it fuck it who cares just run it yourself and if you get good results with it then do it mr whitman says 10 and 2 to 10 and 10 this game is cooked i just don't think i can play the game some days it's boring i want to talk about this one too because mentality is always going to be like one of the biggest tips that i can give anybody to play this game if you want to actually be good at this game you have to kind of not rage you have to does the game suck balls yes the game is not good will you concede goals that you should not concede a million percent you will but if you don't let that like get to you you will play so much better it's actually shocking when you go back and watch your gameplay i did this a few years ago and i really tried to get better at this game if you go back and watch your gameplay pre you raging versus after you raging you're, it's night and day. You're playing so much worse when you're raging. So if you get to 10 and 2 and you end up, say, you end up 10 and 6, at that point, you stop. Try again tomorrow. At that point, like you lost four in a row, you're probably going to be upset. At that point, give it a few hours or go again tomorrow. And maybe that's what you did. Maybe you didn't, maybe you weren't even raging at all and it was just, it ended up that way. But but to give it your best chance, mentality uh, is one of the most important factors in this game. All right, let's rip this thing open. Base Thunderstruck, Winter Wildcard Icon. Let's get the image up and let's see what we can get here we are going to get ourselves brazil netherlands and argentina okay that's promising for the first two there argentina has to be like raquel may or it's going to be veron or zanetti i think this is raquel may here it is okay so raquel may is there i was kind of expected next can be the dutch one and it's vandersar isn't it oh my god thunderstruck vandersar that is actually a massive w i'm not going to lie brazil now is next 80 stamina we've got 94 dribbling okay is this is this got Garincha or Pele right off rip here. No, I don't think it can be Pele. I think this is going to be Garincha or Jerzinho, I believe here, right? 92 passing. This might be Garincha. 85 shot, 89 pace. It is Garincha. Okay. That honestly was uh, pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to take Garincha because I know that I like his base card. I don't think it's amazing, but his winter wild card is very, very good. If that was one that was here, I'd probably take that one. But Vandersar is a massive W. That's one of the best keepers in the game. He's, I think he's like honestly super duper expensive. Yeah, 750k. So you know what? We'll take that. We'll definitely take that. And now let's open this 8510 and see if we can get anything in this. And the answer is no. Germany. CDM. Is that Kimmich? Okay. Can we get two walkouts potentially in here? We can. All right. Kimmich and Pop. And that... Um, so they don't, they don't pop up. Okay. Um, how much is Acuna going for? 50k or so? Well, they're, they all are kind of discard, but honestly, that's, that's a crazy pack. Let me know if you guys are packing anything recently because there's been a lot of packs out. Hopefully you guys are packing stuff and I love you all. Thanks for the video. Peace.